please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hello friends welcome to the new session where we will be learning a new topic for today and today's topic is fraction have you heard this term before children what do you mean by the term fraction something which is divided into two parts right so generally a fraction is something which is divided into parts so division of any object into various parts is called as fraction if you see we have say 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 10 1 by 100 in all these cases they are called as fractions in fraction we have two terms one is numerator and the other one is denominator okay numerator is something which is above the bar line and denominator is something which is below the bar line for example if i say 1 by 2 okay so in 1 by 2 1 is my numerator and 2 is my denominator usually numerator will always be lesser than denominator okay this is the basic rule of fraction okay so numerator will always be less than the denominator in these examples if we say 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 10 1 by 100 in all the four cases my denominator is greater than numerator right in any case did you find the upper number greater and the lower number less no so the basic rule of fraction is always the numerator will be lesser than the denominator okay so if you see you will always be represented in this manner and this line which is dividing the both numbers this is called as the bar line fine children so numerator if suppose numerator is equal to denominator then it becomes the whole number what do you mean by that for example if i write 5 by 5 both my numerator and denominator are same so in this case suppose 5 is equals to 5 it becomes the whole number 1 similarly 6 by 6 again it is 1 it is the whole number 15 by 15 again it is the whole number so in all these cases this becomes the whole number clear children so are you clear with the basic concept of fraction so in fraction we need to keep in mind two basic things first is the numerator and denominator okay the second thing numerator is always less than the denominator and the third thing if numerator and denominator are same then it becomes the whole number okay so now i am going to teach you the basic rules of fraction so shall we learn the few rules of fraction children are you all ready to learn the fraction rules 